nice warm beautiful day right now it's about 79 degrees easily a lot of flowers blooming around here so the bees are staying busy very very active around here let me show you a little bit goldenrod is still blooming there is a bee on it and they take advantage of every single flower whatever this flower is i can see bees on top of them all over getting all that pollen and then we have a lot of this kind of flower as well let me know in comments below the name of this flower i have looked it up before but i forgot you see there is bee right on a flower and beside other flowers blooming everywhere still so they are bringing honey like crazy so we're gonna feed some of the beehives anyways in the last video i have done inspection on all of the beehives and I marked each beehives that I need to feed so this is what I'm gonna do today I used to use these jars with holes and this syrup drips and creates vacuum and slowly drips into the hive and they're going to eat the sugar syrup well this time I'm going to use some different feeders like that top feeders with this plastic right here and we're going to fill up sugar syrup inside here and the bees going to climb up to these holes inside there and climb down on this metal mesh and drink syrup and climb back inside here so that way there is no way the sugar syrup can spill into the hive so this is pretty cool this is what i'm going to try to use and these plastic beehives already equipped with the top feeders so i don't even have to bring up any kind of feeders so these ones are the best first i'm going to feed this beehive just to show you how it's done and i love these latches don't have to worry about the wind picking them up and throwing them away but all i have to do is just spin these two and right here is set for sugar candy you open it up like that and for sugar syrup you set it like that and it says it here cake syrup cake syrup and it's marked the same way well i can't believe they purpleized this one all the way so they do climb up here if they think they need to purpleize something they will and then this whole thing comes out and then i'm gonna fill up with the sugar syrup and then close it make sure everything set on sugar sugar syrup so that way they don't drown but they will be able to climb up and down and drink syrup and climb back and these things whenever you want to lift up this whole thing and check on the bees that way they don't come off those little pieces this is why this is amazing beehives because they are already well thought of everything i'm just gonna check on this beehive real quick see how they're doing what i'm looking for see if they bring in any syrup also I have combined two beehives so what I want to see if they're going to lay any eggs and there's pollen that looks good definitely bringing a lot of pollen oh yeah look at that they're filling up with syrup so well right now because we have finally a nice sunny day it's been raining a lot so everything blooming really well and this is the result of it they bring a lot of pollen i see a lot of eggs right here so the queen is laying i'm happy with that so they definitely need to be fed because there's a lot new eggs haven't even been cupped off and it's going to get cold around october mid-october or maybe even october 25th so that's why i should start feeding them okay let me show you how to use this feeder just lift this up just grab one of these buckets and just pour a bunch of sugar in sugar syrup and we'll fill it up to the top it's a little bit slanted but that's okay and then we're going to cover it up before the bees fly into it boom let me open one up. I'm worried that if this one is going to get overspilled into the beehive. Not so much at all. So now the bees, once they figure it out, I'm going to give them a little syrup right here. 
dip it into the inside of it so that way they can climb up and start feeding on the syrup. You see how they're going to come out from there and start feeding on it. You gotta be careful though, I'm almost overfilled it but they're gonna eat it up really soon, half of it probably in a day and put it inside of the cells. And again, so that way they don't drown, you're gonna put it like this. So that way they can climb up and use the syrup but not drown. Alright, now we can close it up. Okay, let's feed this beehive, a regular one. I wanna check how well they bring in the honey as well. They definitely use a lot more propolis in this beehive. Let's see how much honey they bring in. Oh yeah, look at that. They're putting up a lot more brood. If you look inside of it, you see there's larvae inside of it, those little worms, and there's lots of lots of eggs. So they definitely bring you a lot of honey. Right now, this is beautiful. Almost don't even need to feed them, but I will a little bit anyways. Even on the outside frames, they're bringing in a lot of honey right now, so that's good. So we're gonna put the feeder on top. Not going to give them that much syrup, that's for sure. Some over here, going to drip a little bit inside there, so that way they can find it. But yeah, as you can see, it can hold a lot of syrup. Gonna put on both sides, and I think that's plenty. I do like these feeders, they can hold a lot of syrup, but I don't like feeding that much of a syrup unless they absolutely have to have it. That should be enough because they already bring in a lot of honey as well, so I'm not too worried. This side here, I'll just flip it over so no bugs can get in inside there or the bees. And that's it, much easier than jars and it's a lot less mess and it holds way more syrups than jars do. I just checked this beehive, it has three and a half frames full of honey and the rest frames not even drawn out comb. So I'm going to give them more sugar syrup that way. It will help them to draw out the comb and fill up more stores. That should be plenty. Let's go to the next one. There you go. This beehive is a monster. There's two brood boxes and I didn't use queen excluder because a lot of people say don't use queen excluder at the end of the summer. They're going to fill up the honey. Well, guess what? This queen is awesome. The queen laid a lot of eggs in a first super and this one is full of honey now and this one obviously full of brood as well this is like monster beehive for sure so because this is such a monster beehive even though with the super i'm worried they're not going to have enough stores because there's a lot more bees than this beehive or the other beehive so i'm going to feed them anyways and help them out I'm not going to feed these bees too much, just a little bit. Just enough for them to give them a little boost. They're already climbing up there and they're going to start drinking it and eating it. Okay, and then cover it up. We'll see how well this beehive will overwinter because I probably will be able to split this beehive a couple of times easily. Well guys, everything looks pretty good so far. We still have two to three weeks till the first time frost, everything blooming really great. Hopefully they're going to fill it up, those boxes with honey for them to overwinter them a lot. So I'm not too worried, we'll see what happens. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.